Well, hi, welcome back to Glitter 50. So this year I have decided since we got our puppy, I'm going to just do get, get ready with me's um, cause I'm on a no buy. I'm having to pay off a puppy and he's expensive. So um, today I'm going to be using my Heather Austin and Adept palette. Um, and here's what it looks like. It's a mess because I use it, <laughs> um, but I love it. I absolutely love it. So um, I'm going to use, there's four mats. Let me see if I can show you. There's these two and these two. And they pretty much match my shirt that I'm wearing. So I'm kind of going to use all of them. Um, so I'm going to first go into this one. It is called mythology. Um, yeah, mythology. And if you hear something in the background, it's Grogu, my puppy. He's chewing up a box. <laughs> he loves to chew on things. So, cause that's what puppies do. Um, so I'm just going to put this up in the crease and diffuse it or buff it out or blend it out. However you want to say it. Um, this week is going to be a crazy week at work. Um, I drive school buses and, um, someone decided that on Thursday we're going to have an early release day. I don't know why they couldn't do it on a Friday and that way we had an extended weekend. That would make more sense to just about everybody but the people who were doing the calendar. But it's the end of the semester. Sorry, I've got goop in my eyes per usual. There it goes. So we're getting out early on Thursday, but we have to go back to work on Friday, which makes no sense. March is always the hardest month because there's no extended weekend, there's no day off, there's no, we have five days a week, every single week. And the last week is conference week, which is the hardest week of all, because there's early, early releases for kindergarten through sixth through fifth grade every day and then there's sorry I'm picking up Atlas which is this color right here um, there's conference week which is like I said K through five gets out every single day and then the middle school high schoolers get out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The problem is there's a lot of kids that their older siblings take care of the younger siblings while the parents are at work or whatever. So without them being off at the same time, there's a lot of little kids that either don't have somebody to pick them up off the bus or there's a lot of older kids that don't go to school. So it's kind of a catch 22 for everybody.
feel like I've been wearing this look a lot lately, even though I've used like three different, four different palettes to sort of obtain the same look, which is weird, but Grogu, stop. Sorry, he's chewing on my card box. Hold. Okay, got that away from him. I forgot with a puppy you have to toddler proof your house. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to use a stiffer. So this was a blending brush. What brush? This is a tapered blending brush number seven. And I can't even tell you what company it's from. And this is from ColourPop, an E17. It's stiffer and a little shorter. And I'm going to pick up the green right here. It is called Magnolia. Hey! Puppies. <laughs> Tap it off. This is why I do my eyes first because there's a lot of fallout. Not necessarily with this brand, but just with eyeshadows in general. And I don't want it all over my face. So. And I tend to like my shadows very pigmented. Now I'm going to go back to <clears throat> my big blending. Pick up more of that Atlas. Tap it off. And blend. So you just need to. Um, somebody was asking me, How do you do? How do I get my eyes the way I do? Well, one, I get up hours before I absolutely have to so I can spend the time I need to blend and I just take my time because this this is quiet time to me even though I have <laughs> a puppy that's trying to tear things apart. This is quiet time to me. This is... Hold on. <laughs> You're a good boy. He wants to say hello. He will at the end. So, just blend. I like to get up early. And take my time and do my makeup because it's what makes me feel good so it's what I do see it just blends adept has really good shadows now I'm using my Sigma switch just running my brush over the top to get any pigment off of it. And I'm going back into the Mythology shade, which is the yellow shade. Tap it off. And blend it 
again just to make sure that I have the saturation that I want. All right, like that. And I know it looks crazy. I know it looks wild. On camera, it looks a lot more wild than it does in person, but in person, it still looks a little wild and crazy, but that's me. <laughs> I like, I like to have my shadows pop and I love to have all the colors. So this is my NYX glitter primer. And I just take a little bit on my pinkies. And push it into my lid. Just, just on my lid. And this will help the glitter shimmers whatever that I put on my eyes be better so now I'm trying to decide which one I want to use <laughs> So here's my issue. I'm drawn to this one and this one. Now there, see this one, it changes from like a yellow to a green. And this one is kind of an orange. Uh, let me see if you can see it in the, you can't really see it. Oh, there it goes. A yellow to a red, so. They both would work, but I'm drawn to, it's called Smith, which I believe is Heather Austin's maiden name, if I remember correctly. Heather Austin is a YouTuber that I watch. So I am going to go into Smith because it is drying on my eyes. And it does have kind of a, a yellow, green, I want to say pink, but it's not really pink. It's kind of a orangey coppery so you can't even see it I don't even know if you can I can see it in person and I'm just kind of putting it sort of towards the middle and a little bit over the green now I'm going to wipe that one off And I'm going to use Passport. Passport, well, no, I'm going to use So Excited. Look at that color. I don't know how many times I've done this exact color combination, but I do love it. I love the way the Adept shimmers feel. They're so pretty and so pigmented and soft and creamy and they go on so well and they stay so nice.
So um, Adept is an independently owned brand. They're not owned by like a Mac or Sephora or they're not sold at Ulta or anything like that. You have to buy these online. You can't just buy them anywhere. So I'm a lot extra. I don't know if we've noticed, but this one, Austin, you can't really see all the, but I'm going to put that <clears throat> on the inside corner. Can you hear him? You can't really see this. Oh, I can. Yes, 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 yes. So now I'm just going to take that blending brush and kind of smooth out the transition between the shadows, between the shimmers and the solids, or the mattes. Okay, I'm going to take my more intense brush with Magnolia, tap it off, and just touch up the side too. Bring that in just a little bit more so it blends better. It's all about taking your time. And because I have no kids at home, they're all grown. My grandkids are living in Idaho and I love makeup. I get to play. <laughs> this is what I get to do. You know me, my eyes water. Alrighty, I'm going to go put on the rest of my face and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got most of my base on. So today I'm using um, <clears throat> ColourPop Pretty Fresh and this is in light 60 and the writing is really really small I think it's even upside down but that's that's the color I'm using and then I mixed it a little bit with the elf camo CC cream I love this stuff but it's I don't know I I like mixing things so this is just and I use a sponge now because I don't like don't like washing the brushes The brushes are just, whew, you can't ever get anything out of them. The ones that I use for foundation, I can never get the th all of the foundation out. So I just decided I'm not going to use a foundation brush. And I think I actually prefer the way a sponge looks anyway. So, wipe off the crusties. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oil. Don't ask me what scent or flavor or it doesn't really have a scent but it does do the job mm. okay now I heard 
that glow wish maybe it's yeah the glow wish line from huda huda is going away which makes me really sad because i actually like this is one of the only um concealers that work on my skin on my under eyes anytime i use really anything else it looks cakey and I don't like it so let me put these away I have one two three four five six foundations who needs all that I'm trying to decide which perfume I want to wear today <clears throat> this is my <clears throat> Kayali elixir and I don't think you can see it's it's empty oh, I love the way it smells though so I keep the bottle mm. I think I'm going to, I'm warming up the concealer. That's why I'm looking really weird. But um, this is oh, which one is this? I don't even remember. Oh, this is the Warlock perfume from Fantasy Cosmetica. It smells so good. Put it on all my pulse points. I know I'm not supposed to wear perfume on the bus, but I have to. So I'm taking this is just, um, I don't even remember. I've used this so much. I've taken the, there's no name on it whatsoever, but it's just a angled brush. And there again, I can never get this one completely clean either. I try. And I'm just blending this out. I'll go over it with a sponge in a minute, but take it up. He's finally settling down beneath my feet. The other two dogs are sleeping. So he was the one that you were hearing. Oh no. Do you see that? Because my eyes are watering. Grogu, lay down, baby. There. Now my concealer is down. Now I'm going to take my Fenty Pro Filter Powder, and this is in Butter. I did not buy this. This came in... Boxy charm, I believe. And I just did not use it for the longest time. But
no, I'm not going to keep it like this. I'm just patting it in. And then I take a big fluffy brush and brush it around. And I don't know if you can see right here. where my eyes are watering. Does not matter. Allergies all the time. There we go. Looking a little better. My eyes look so red. <laughs> All right, closing this up. Now I'm going to take, I'm using this because, you know, I'm trying to hit pan. I guess it's called a project pan. I'm trying to use it up because I spent my money on it and the brand is no longer And I'm trying to use up all my things because I'm trying not to buy anything else unless I've used everything else that I can use. Like, I have three primers. I have the ColourPop no filter primer. I have the e.l.f. and niacinamide power grip primer. And I have, oh, what is it? Another primer that I got in a, uh, a clever box. But they're all like, they're all down to not a lot, but I still have them. So I'm using them. I'm also going to use the blush. So the bronzer is bronze moment and the blush is sun kissed. So what I'm using today is my sun kissed and if you can see you can't really see let me do it this way and the mirror is getting in the way but you can see where I have a dip there and not not a whole lot used out of it so because to me Oh, there it goes. It doesn't really have a lot of color. There we go. I just need to put enough on. How's that? Taking my sponge, going over the top, making sure everything is just pressed in. Because now I'm going to take this is another brand and another Heather Austin. Um, 
collaboration. This is Heather Austin and Unearthly the Resurgence. And these are, see how it changes? I've used these a lot too. I'm going to take highlighter brush and you can't really see how to wipe off the oh. no nope. dropped on the ground and he was gonna eat it I'm gonna take rebirth oh you can see the yeah rebirth Do you see? Oh, I don't even know if you can see. That color. There you go. Can you see that? Oh, it's so pretty. And I like to take it up on my brow bone. And I'm going to take a little bit of Renewal. I say a little bit where I put a lot on there. And I drape it down my cheek just a little bit more. sponge again to blend it in yeah um, hold alrighty so now I'm going to take sorry I just had to wipe those things away I'm going to take kind of a flat brush and I'm going to take Mythology, the yellow, and I'm going to go to the inner on both. This won't stay because my eyes water so much. But I keep trying. <laughs> now I'm using my color switch and I'm going to take PAO2 which is the code, I guess, they use for blood in the hospital. Wiping it off again. Going back into mythology to buff it through. To go back and forth. To blend the two together. Okay. And... Now I'm going to take, where'd she go? There she is. This little itty bitty, little itty bitty brush. And I'm going into Austin, that color that we put on the inner. 
and I'm going to put it here. There again, it's not going to stay all day because my eyes water too much, but I want that color right there. I know this takes me forever, but I just, it's how I like to spend my first hour when I wake up doing my makeup. So I feel beautiful th throughout the day. I'm going to do go do my mascara, spray my face, and I'll be back. Alrighty, so I don't know if you can see it, but... I use the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Mascara. I tried using Here I Am Lash mas Mascara, but it just doesn't do a really good job. And I don't put it on my lower lashes anymore because, like I said, my eyes water. And then I have mascara lines, but... I don't think it looks bad without mascara. You let me know. But that's going to be it for today. This is my final look. And please like, share, and subscribe. And remember, who's better than you? Nobody. Have a great day.